Hello Indie Gamers. Swords and Magic and Stuff is a game I've been watching for quite a while. It's a pretty cute looking RPG game. It is coming out on Early Access shortly, so I thought I'd give it a bit of a playthrough and see how we go. I will do some commentary, but it won't be extensive. I do like hair. Can I turn it around? No. Bit of a emo hairstyle. <laughs> that is that is indeed a cool beard. I like I like the overgrown beard. And unfortunate clothing. <laughs> Shall name myself IDN as is a custom. And I think I'm good to create this character. Sort of described as an adorable RPG, which I think is a pretty cute description. I know that it's been quite popular with the the betas and whatnot. Why is that not letting me pick that up? Okay. And yeah, as I said, it's early into early uh, access, so there's a chance of bugs and whatnot. My dearest, it feels like only yesterday we were running around our shop. I can't believe how fast the past few years have flown by. And you're so grown up now. Both your father and I are so proud of you for embarking on your own journey for the very first time. I know things might seem scary at first, and you might not always be sure of yourself, but you'll find your way. You always do. It will always be just... A letter away so please write to us once you've settled into your new life we can't wait to hear about how well you're doing i know it's not much but everyone in the village chipped in that's nice i will do tab to go back how do i ah uh, there's my gold there i'm assuming let's pick up some gold see myself in the mirror that's pretty cool tirawin i need the key there it is get off this. Notice all belongings left in the cabin will become property of Captain James upon disembarking the ship. Thank you. I don't think I've left anything, have I? That's been opened. That's been opened. There's nothing in there. Hi there. It's IDN, right? Sorry for not meeting you sooner. I've had my nose buried in my work. I'm a writer. I'm travelling to Tirawin looking for adventure. I want to write amazing stories and what better inspiration than real life experiences. Say, do you keep a journal with you? No. What? Oh, you most definitely should. Here, let me explain how to truly utilise. <sighs> ah, off to adventure already? I see. I don't blame you, I guess. I'll see you around then. And if you ever have a good adventure to share, please. Yeah, sure. What have we got in there? My journey. I, I just want the potion, to be honest. Um, we're not here for reading. What's this? Storage. Keep out. Yeah, well... Oh, hello. Hey, you're not supposed to be in here, but I guess I could use some help, so I'll let it slide. What do you need? Well, that storm really did a number on our storage room here. Now, I can't reach the spuds, and I'm on cook duty tonight. Can you crawl under there and grab me a bag of them? Sure. Under here, I guess. Uh, sneak around by pressing C. Grab some spuds. There you go. Here they are. Five gold. I'll take it. Thank you. Oh, he's already given me the five gold. Alright, so. C to crouch. Easy. Couch. Oh, you're up because we're docked. Where are we? We're technically on Azura Island. It's part of Tirowin. I'm still surprised you want to start afresh in Tirowin of all places. It's become increasingly dangerous with King Owen missing and all. Anyway, care for a bit more training before you start this in? Yeah, sure. Grab that training sword from the weapon rack right there. Hold it up like you know what you're doing. Then feel free to give that training dummy a few good whacks. Awesome. Alright. How do I... I think I got a sword, didn't I? How do I... Inventory. 
Okay. How do I actually put it? Well, look at that, you're a natural. You should be... Hang on to that wooden sword, you might need it. Keep practicing. If you ever get in trouble, just roll out of the way. Learning when to dodge is very important. The more you practice... Okay. Alright, so there's experience based on the, the weapon that you choose. What do you know about potion? Yeah, okay, lots of different types of potions. Use the equipped item on your belt with R. Okay, how do I... Confused about how I actually oh select maybe oh, okay there you go gotta press oh no I want I want this left hand okay there we go you have to press F everything's on the F key in this game all right thank you can I go upstairs now maybe so we're starting afresh on a new island and there's already talk about a missing king. Well, we finally made it. Sorry the trip was a bit rough. That storm came out of nowhere. Thanks for the ride. Your pay came a bit short. Uh, are you sure about that? Now, I'm not mad, but how about you run a few quick errands for me just to make it square? Down the docks a ways is a tiny tavern. Head on down there and get me a dizzy juice. A dizzy juice. Just talk to Maggie. We can double jump, I like that. Alright, so we're looking for Maggie at the docks. There's a candle maker. There's an inn. It's a very pretty uh, looking game, isn't it? What's he? Uh, a dock worker. His name's Grog, I like it. The tavern, there we go. There's Maggie. Captain Jane sent me. He said you owe him a drink. What well, like heck I do. If anything he owes me. If you want a drink, you're gonna have to pay for it. Actually, how about you do me a favor and guess and I give you some dizzy juice? Sure. Great, head on out off the dock back onto the road and look for a big hole in the ground with an orc fella standing next to it. What does it want me to do? Turn that music down a bit. Back onto the road, a big hole in the ground. Oh my gosh, okay, so... Looking for a big hole with an orc standing next to it. What's going on in there? It looks fun. Maybe I was supposed to go back along the way that I came from. Is that the hole? That looks like an orc. What do you want? Maggie sent me to help out. Oh, did she? Well, that's great news, actually. See, down the stairs is the door to the cellar for the tiny tavern. Trouble is being so close to the beach, we have to get unwanted intruders. What kind of intruders? Crabs! Let me guess. You want me to go in there, get rid of the crabs. Alright, no worries. I can do that. Kill a few crabs. Get ready, you... This is not your home. Yeah. A few coins. Oh, there's another crab. Oh, he's... So... Alright, got it. What do they want to grab? A mug or something? Some coins? Can't smash things open like Zelda, unfortunately. Oh wait, did I lose hit points? I must have. Chester's favorite mug did it. Okay. Well, here's your mug back. Thank you, Carly. I'll be taking that key back too. Anyway, I'll let Megan know you helped out. So go talk to her for whatever it is you two worked out. Okay. Fortune telling is for five coins. What a bargain. Alright, give this to Captain and tell him I don't owe him one. 
We're going to deliver the captain his favourite dizzy juice. I'm wondering if the damage is just like a roll because it did two damage or three damage and I don't think any difference between it. Yes, I got you a drink. Alright, drinking's good. Anyway, one more task and you can be on your way. I've still got some work to do here, but I'd like to reserve a bed at the inn before it gets too late. Great, here's 10 gold for the room. Alright, good luck on your journey. Yeah, we can do that. So, I saw the inn up here before that. Thirty-three. So he just attacked me back, even though it doesn't look like it's attacking me. I just have to be mindful of uh, health points. Hello, Sam. Captain James. All right, I've got the name down here. That'll be ten gold. Thanks. Hope your friend finds a room satisfactory. Where can I find work around here? Oh, plenty on staying around for a while. What kind of work? Adventuring or something? Adventure. The goblins around the island are, but the town guard could use some help. Oh, yeah? So I might go and join the town guard because I'm a, a righteous kind of person. Just need to make sure and see if I need to talk to the captain or not. Done. Alright. We're debt free. Randall. Yes, I am. Welcome. My name's Randall. It's nice to meet you. If you ever need any help with anything, just let me know. You really should tell the captain. He's at the training fields in town. Alright, so this wasn't the training field. What's this here? Who are you? Adventurer? Okay. Old mate just stands outside. He's a seller all day long. Okay. In search of a training field. Who are you? You've got flowers, Gerald. Nah. Not interested in Gerald. Some kind of farming thing. Maybe head up the hill. CB clock there. I'm not sure if there's uh, day and night. This looks like a training area. Where's the captain? Oh, here he is. Teak, the Azura Guard Captain. Have I ever considered a curie in guarding? Well, very often. Sure. Ah, now I gotta talk to Sandy. He's just standing there. Alright, he must be the new recruit. Doesn't it feel good to be guarding people? Yes. Yes, he did. There's a goblin camp and they're a real pain. Coming close to town and messing with people and all that. Super not cool. We've got a handful of new recruits dealing with it, but that leaves the town a bit empty. Your help would be appreciated. Alright, what do I do? We had report of stolen property coming from the town's herbalist shop. No doubt it's some rare herb that's been swiped to cook up a deadly poison. Go investigate the report at Fiora's house. Oh, and here's your new guard equipment. If you do a good job, you might get even real ones someday. Alright, so I've got to find... I've got to find someone. Inventory. What did, what did they give me? It's a wooden sword, flimsy. 1 to 3, 1 to 3. It's pretty... We put that on the right. Wait. Yeah, okay. Um, is there a map? How do I know where Fiora's house is? She's a herbalist. We'll look around for something that looks remotely... Oh, can I get a horse? I most certainly am. Well, I don't believe you much faster than walking. Unfortunately, here on the island we can't sell horses. 
Take it up with the mayor. Oh, serious. This maybe looks like a place that sells herbs. Who are you? Oh, here's a man. I'm interested in buying a horse. You and a dozen new adventures coming off the boat each day. You'll have to prove yourself. <coughs> Alright, I just wanted a horse to get around. Okay, I see. If an adventurer proves themselves by actually doing some good around town, I might let them buy a horse. So I kind of have to prove my worth before I can get... Alright, let's look for this herbalist. What's your name? Kara? Who are you? Huck. Huck's on a couple of pies. Yossi. That looks like a blacksmith. I wonder if I get to build my own house, that would be cool. Oh, this is the people that just... Can I get in there? No. I, I, I want to be there. Is it just like one guy by himself just getting down? I thought there was like a whole party in there happening. It doesn't seem to be. Um. Okay. Maybe up that way. I haven't been up that way. I guess I'll go have a look. You would think that it wouldn't send me too far away from where I am. I wonder if I could ask them where the herbless is. Not yet. Ah, uh, there's a cooldown on your attacks and whatnot. There's a tavern. There's a blacksmith. There is some fancy pants guy over here with a vault. There's a banker. Alright, where is my herbalist? Looks like the island's quite big. What's down that way? Oh, I took damage there. That wasn't a good idea. Alright, so there's... So, I've determined there is full damage in the game. And I might use a... Oh, I can just press... Uh, Bit of a farming thing happening here. Taylor, the potato farmer. All right, well, not the herbalist. Oh, oh, okay. I'll just let that boar. I think that boar is probably there for a reason. Who are you? You look like a witch. The novice mage. What are you doing over here? Well, the archaeology guide sent me. Guild sent me. Oh, yeah. Cubic sources, a source of magical energy. See, I have this relic I've discovered. It seems, oh my god, so much talking. Nah, good luck with that. I don't want to do your quest. There's a boar here. Is he, he wants to have a piece of me. Oh, he just charged straight through him. Ah, oh, he's running away. Um, I want a bow. Do I have a map? I do have a map. Can I... It's not the most effective map for finding the herbalist. I'll go down towards the docks, I guess, where the tavern was. Alright. So, I've answered the question of whether or not there's day and nights in this game. There clearly is. This is an old man getting down. He's been dancing all day. Absolute legend when it comes to dancing. Property of the Madame Swan. Fior is the name of the person I'm looking for. Bonnie's bait. 
You wouldn't think that a herbalist would be selling too close to the water, would you? Never really sold herbs in my time. Potions and whatnot, and that's Cecil. The master candle maker. Oh, this guy sells weapons. And I can't afford any of those, unfortunately. Bonnie's bait. This feels like the poorer part of town. Madame Swan, fortune telling, tavern. There is a furnishings. Emma's garments, really? Get out of here. Got him. Oh, did I lose? Oh, no, I got my coin. Where's the herbalist? Coming soon, okay. Oh, hello. Hoggin. You just can't go wrong with ick. Excuse me, you just can't go wrong with... Well, sorry about that. Just can't go... Oh, forget it. Got it. Alright. feel like this is easy. Every, everything else has been so close. So why would it not be close this time? Let's look around again. Who's this person? Oh, Dizzy Juice. Thank you. I'm sure they won't mind. It's a hobbyist farmer. The blacksmith, and I can't get in there. They are. Uh, that's Huck. Kara. I wonder if they'll just tell me where. Okay, they're just throwing their coins in there and nothing much is happening. That's the mayor's house. Who's here? Ah, see, it's always more obvious than you think. No, Sandy sent me on behalf of the town guard. Oh, no, not again. It's probably my grandson. He lives these tools all the time and blames it on thieves and scoundrels. I imagine he's mentioned to a guard and now here you are investigating. He's up to the attic if you'd like to question him. I'm like solving crimes of missing toys. I feel like that's beneath my status as a master adventurer. I can't get up there. Why not? There we go. I either guard they said to catch the darn thief. Oops, grandma doesn't like when I say bad words. I'm serious in need of a town guard. See, my favourite doll was stolen right from under my nose. It's one of a kind or plush, and I know who the scoundrel. Alright, who took it? The thief is most definitely Penny, I'm pretty sure. Like, almost positively sure. I think maybe you should ask her first, though. Where's Penny, though? Oh my gosh. Worst quest ever. Where's my journal? Who's Penny? Talk to the mum and see if she'll tell me where Penny is. We've already spoken. Alright. Penny will live nearby. Maybe the mayor's house? Gerald? Kara? I'm sure the mayor would appreciate me coming in and accusing any children that they might have. Just might have a quick quick peek in here. Thanks, mayor. It's my favourite thing to do in RPGs is just to go to someone's house and just, you know, steal their money. Oh, it's a bandage. This is quite a smaller establishment. 
I'll go up the hill. I don't know if it doesn't look like it's going to be one of those games where you can ask people for clues. It's kind of like you just have to work it out. You just have to find them. Hello, you could be Penny. My dad just had to move it for some kind of work or something. It's so lame here. Talk to me about the doll. What about his doll? Did he tell you I stole his dumb doll again? Yeah, he definitely says you. That little brat, he's always accusing everyone of selling his things just because he can't keep track of them. He was playing in his grandma's garden just yesterday. Did he even check there? I'll check. Alright. Penny could possibly be in the clear. Where's grandma's garden? Okay, yes. There's no doll there though, just a collection. Interesting. What's he got to say to that? The little scoundrel. Oh, I just climb up there already. Okay, that's, that's okay. No worries. I'll check the garden again. It's from Kara, though. Wasn't Kara the one who was throwing stuff down here? Let's talk about Camry's doll. What? What doll? I don't know what you're talking about. I found this note. Okay, I did it. I took Camry's doll. Granny Fiora collects plants, so I wanted to start my own collection of toys. Yes, okay. Here, you can take it back to him. I'll tell him I'm sorry when I go home for dinner. Wait, are they like siblings or something? Another mystery solved. Call me Sherlock Holmes. Penny didn't take it. Well, my sister stole my doll. I should have known. She always wanted that plush for herself. Thanks so much for getting it back for me. You're amazing. Here, I found this in Granny's couch cushions. You should have it. What did you give me? Okay. Let's have a look. What did I get from that? I got some bandages, maybe? Bandages sort of passively give you your things back. Did you find out about stolen property? Yes, all taken care of. Well, look at you go. That's super great. Thank you. Here's your pay for a job well done. Keep up the good work. Are you ready for the next report? Sure am. Super to hear. Head down to the docks. Greg, a dock worker down there, has reported some missing cargo. All right, on it. I'm at 48 gold. I kind of, what, I need 300 for that beastly looking sword. I need to up my uh, income quickly. Greg at the docks. It's Gazelle. It's probably good to listen to everyone's names. If not listen, at least remember them. It's a fisherman. Oh, I would like to fish. Why can't Bonnie be the one out of catching fish? I don't even like fish. I like fish. No? Okay. Bunny. Grub. Okay. Weapons merchant. Okay. Relord. Ray. Sissel. Where is Greg? Jib. Oh Jesus. Oh, swimming's alright. Oh look at that. Like a spawning salmon just absolutely pouncing out. Uh must be down the other end of the docks, I guess. 
there's a slight I don't have my frames up but I can feel every now and then when I move from one area to another there's slight frame issues I don't think it's a big deal I reckon this guy's Greg he looks like a Greg spot him from a mile away uh, but now I completely don't have enough. I'm with a guard. Oh, you're the guard they sent about this missing shipment, of course. Well, you see, I'm responsible for unloading this ship here, but one of the crates is missing, and this isn't the first time. Every time the rat tail crew makes a delivery on the island part of the shipment, it goes missing, and I get blamed. This time I thought I'd call the guard myself and leave it up to you. Do what I can. If I were you, I'd talk to that sailor Jenk over there. He's the one unloading the ship to the docks. He'd know what... Okay, let's, let's have a chat to Jenk. Can we chat? Oh boy, are you the down, are you the darn town guard? Let me guess. You want to know about the shipment? I have a couple of questions. Do you know anything about the missing? I count the crates that we came into port. You can check for yourself on this manifest here. When did you get into the port? It was too late to unload the crates. All the dock workers were home for the day. Who is the captain? Captain Gill is the leader of the Rat Tail crew. You can find him over by the tiny tavern. It's his favourite place on Azura. He really loves the dizzy juice there. Alright. Couple of questions for the captain. Dizzy juice seems to be the uh, popular thing. That's Krell. Uh, Roxy? Was it? No, Rox? Was it Roxy? No. We're, but they are a member of the Rat Tail crew. Was he the one that was like vomiting out the back? All right, let's have a look at the the journal. Gill. That's Hogan. All right, good. I don't want to be wasting any uh, money on. I can't see. I might need to ask about it. Bristles, Crusher. Okay. Where is Gil? Is this the only tavern? Yeah, the tiny tavern. That's what they said, right? It said tiny tavern. Jenks Captain Gill is at the Tiny Tavern, but I'm, in, I'm that is a Tiny Tavern. I'm confused. Oh, hello. This here's practically my tavern. I bet I single-handedly keep the lamps burning. It's my favourite place in all of Tirowin. Next to my ship, that is. Can I have a couple of questions, please? Wait, are you from the guard? Ugh. You think my crew's stealing the crates? Is it like a pirate voice? You think my crew is stealing the crates from the shipments? Well, I'll set you straight then. They're not. Satisfied? Ask away. Do you have any suspicions? Nah, the manifest is double checked now when we get into port. It's probably just these dock workers miscounting the crates. Happens all the time. Only on this darn port the last couple of months we seem to lose a crate or two here. Sometimes it turns up after a fact or sometimes it doesn't. Oh yeah? I'd be more worried, but this is a zero. Not the brightest bulbs working on the docks down here. How big is your crew? Just the four of us. It's me, Roxy, Fix, and Jenks. You can find them around here somewhere. We ship out soon, so they wouldn't have gone too far. Roxy, Fitz, and Jenk. Who's this one? Hogan. Alright. Roxy's inside. Hey, Roxy. Q, what do you want? Just a couple of questions. Let's get over with. Gil's the best captain I've ever sailed for. He's honest for one, and that's hard to find on the sea. He also treats his crew with respect. I'll sail. Okay. More questions. What can you tell me about Jenk? Jenk's a good guy. I mean, he's not the sharpest hook in the case, but he works hard. He's probably still on the ship unloading the shipment from last night. Poor guy. He's trying to pay for magic school or something in Ellerin City. I hope he gets there. Works hard. Oh, yeah? Fits. Picked him up a few months ago. He's smart. Pulls his own weight and doesn't mind being paid barnacles for the work. Ah, uh, what was his name? It was... So, Fitzy, or whatever his name is, the one on the ship's trustworthy, and the other one's not. That's what I determined from all that. Jenk. Tell me more about Captain Gill. Well, Gill's been kept for the reference. He's, he's been holding shipments all over Tyrion and beyond. 
A lot of merchants use him for his professionalism. His timing always gets there. Alright. Fitz. Fitz is the one. He sent a bunch of voyages already, though. Real upstanding guy. Not really into Dizzy Juice, are they? He never comes to the taverns with us. Roxy's guild's first mate. She's been around since the beginning and gets longer than me. She and the captain are real close. Alright. So, Jenk. What's his name? Fitzy? I can't remember. I'm really bad at remembering names. Let's have a look in the log. Jank, Fitz. We've already spoken to Jank, so I just gotta find Fitz. It doesn't Fitz doesn't hang around with them at the taverns. And I have a suspicion the reason that Fitz doesn't hang around with the taverns is because he's stealing. It's a nice looking little ship here. Where would I find Fitzy? Nah, he's probably not buying clothes. That's Hogan, isn't it? Randall. Cornelia. Grog. Oh wait, how much is that crude sword? 50 and does one of them. It's still pretty crap though. Maybe Fitzy goes to the inn. Kristen. Oh, hello. Just don't mind if I help myself. Why pay for a room when you can just walk in and... No one here, okay. What is that, uh, Kristen? I can't believe I came all this way to Ireland to relax and read, and I've lost my glasses. I can barely. Ah, uh, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not looking for glasses here. Maybe, uh, maybe Fitzy's still on the boat. Go check the boat. Maybe downstairs on the boat. This poor bugger worked all through the night. Couple of gold coins, thanks, boys. Fitz, what's the clue about Fitz? Fitz has been in the crew months. He's a bunch of voyages already though. He never comes to the taverns. Well, where does he go? Have I spoken to a Fitzy so far? Fitz. He's a real go-getter too. He's been around a couple months and he seems to love the job. Okay, so not much being told about him. He's not inside, is he? I'm pretty sure he's not inside. I think there's someone else inside. Old Sailor, Krull, Rhea. Alright. So the only option is to look somewhere else, I guess. Where would Fitzy go, though? That's the question. I don't think it'd be this far though. I feel like this this is not the uh, style of the game so far. That's this guy's uh, Gerald. Nah, it's got to be down in the dock somewhere. Otherwise, I'm just guessing. Maybe he's on the other ship. Who's this guy? Gazelle. Uh, okay. Captain's on here. I'm 
Do I have the captain's key to open that? No fits. Who are you? Sure, the fisherman. There's not a lot of people just looting about, is there? Or loitering about is what I meant to say. Can you go in here? Fishing tips. So I will get to fish at some point, which is good. Because I want to fish. Where would Fitzy be? Bit of a clue would have been nice. There's no one hanging out on a uh, boats that I didn't see before. Fortune told. And oh, I just, did I just buy a bit. Uh, good luck. I'm not. No, there's there's no no sign of Fitzy. People are leaving their dizzy juice all over the place. Oh, I can wear hats and stuff. Might buy a hat later. There's no one like right up high or anything on the looking out. Fitzy hasn't gone for a swim. Can we go in there? Is there any way to... Seemingly not. Yeah, no, there's, there's nothing else that they're going to tell me. Oh dear. I guess I do have to go and maybe I can finish this one a bit later. Or maybe Fitzy's just gone for a walk. I go talk to my uh, my guard mate and see if they've got any words of wisdom. Ah, uh, well, it's Fitz who did it. Ah, so I, there was, I wasn't supposed to find him. He's been kicked out of the rat tail crew and wants the ferries back up and running. We'll be shipping him back to the mainland where he can answer his crimes. Nice. Man, isn't guard duty fun? You did a great job. Here's your payment, plus a bonus for doing such a super job. I am so good at being a guard. Alright, 44 minutes in. It's a pretty cute game, isn't it? Like, It's pretty simple. Quest to do. Things like that. I'm going to end my first video there, but I will upload this well, upload this one obviously because you're watching it um but then i'll upload my next episode probably in the next couple of days so keep an eye out for that and thank you for watching